DMAX flat type radial artery compression tourniquet. It is used for assisting the hemostatus following radial puncture. Radial artery compression tourniquet consists of compression plate, force pad, elastic band, and fixed loop. Open the package. Unfold the Velcro strap to avoid it sticking too tight. Adjust the length of the elastic band in the longest level. Withdraw the sheet with 1 to 2 centimeters. Place the short side of the force pad in the same direction of artery. Align the center of compression plate to the skin puncture site about 3 or 4 millimeters in the heart direction. Coordinate with two hands. One thumb press the groove to fix the force pad. The other hand withdraw the sheet. Following, fasten the elastic band promptly. During the procedure, pay your kindly attention to keep the balance of the force pad to avoid uplift to any side of artery or ulnar area. Observe whether there is any bleeding on the puncture site. Fasten the elastic band if bleeding. Touch the distal radial artery to check the pulse. If no pulse or weak, Loosen the elastic band appropriately by opening the Velcro strap, lifting up the fixed loop by finger. Observe the blood circulation of palm. If hand's temperature is higher, the skin is cyanose, patient feels painful or numbness, tactile insensitivity, it requests to release the elastic band a little. Remove the tourniquet in 6 to 8 hours. If the patient's coagulation function is poor, extend the hemostatus time accordingly.